run your own evil network. <laughs> Hello, my friends, how are you doing? Today, I'm going to show you how to run your stable diffusion install over your local network, but also how to sync your file with Google Drive so you can use it wherever you are, share your creation with your friends. And I will explain to you why that is important. So let's get Stable Diffusion running on our local network. This is for LAN and also for Wi-Fi. Go into the folder where you have installed automatic 1111. Here is the installation guide again. And then you want to search for the file webui-user.bat. Right click on that, go to show more options and select edit with notepad plus plus. That is a free software link in the video description. When you open up that file, you see here set command line arcs. So after that, write minus minus listen. And then you save the file, close it, double click it to open it up and get stable diffusion running. When this is starting up, you're probably going to be asked by Windows to be allowed to use the internet. So hook for the private network and the public network and click allow. Then in here, you will see a new local URL. You can forget about that URL. This is not where that runs. So how do you figure out where it runs? Well, on Windows, go to your search here, write CMD and hit enter. This opens another command prompt window. Now in here, you will type IP config, hit enter, and this will show you a IP4 address. This is the one we need. It will be different for you. You can actually select that in here, control C to copy, and then copy it over onto your next computer or send it to you via email. But we need more. So for me, it's this kind of number here, but when we look in here for the first number where I said you don't really need that, the stuff behind the colon we do need. So in this case, it is colon 7860. So this is the address that I'm using on another computer to open up my stable diffusion in a browser. Now on my local computer where I have installed my stable diffusion, I'm still using this address as before. Both of those are local IPs. They have nothing to do with your public IP. Nobody can really use that other than when they are in your local network, of course. So if you are in a shared flat or if in a dorm where everybody is in the same network, people can actually access that address and open up your stable diffusion. So be a bit careful with that. When you open up stable diffusion in your browser on the main computer or on other devices, it runs as usual. The cool thing here is you can also run it on a tablet computer on an old laptop because it's not using that hardware. So it doesn't matter. You can even use it on other computer systems like Linux or Mac or whatever you want, because as long as it's just running in a browser, it's working just like a browser and the original install is running on your main computer. And now this does not mean that Stable Diffusion suddenly is a multitasking software. So if multiple people would use Stable Diffusion at the same time, that will kind of queue up their jobs. I'm not 100% certain if this will work when a couple of people use the same Stable Diffusion install without problems. So be careful with that. And of course, if you have running a job that takes a long time on your stable diffusion local install, you have to wait for that long job to finish before you can enter a new job, even if you're on another computer via the local network. Now let's check out how to sync your files to Google Drive. Usually inside of stable diffusion, you have an outputs folder where everything goes. And you can see for me, all of these images have a green hook. This means that they are synchronized with Google Drive. So this is very easy. Go to this address linked below the video, download the Google desktop drive and open it up so it runs. As soon as that runs, go down here and click on this icon for the Google Drive. Now here you have this overview window that shows you also the space you have. I have 100 gigabytes because I'm paying them for that. It's not very expensive. It's about two bucks per month. You want to go here to this cogwheel, click on that, click on preferences. And here you can see the name of my computer and the folders I've added included the folder size. 
So that's pretty useful. You can also add other folders. So this is not going to sync everything on your drive, just the folders that you have specified. But on the other hand, you can access everything you have on your Google Drive. Now, in this case, be aware that when you delete images from your local drive, they will also be deleted from your Google Drive. So this is not a backup solution and this will not save your files once you have deleted them from your computer. The good thing here is you can share that folder with another person if you're in a team for working on AI art and they can see your creations. They have them in full resolution. So that is very helpful. And of course, they can download it, edit them and then put them in their folder and they can share their folders with you. You can technically also use the same folder for multiple people, but I wouldn't suggest it because Google Drive is not doing versioning. So when one file is altered, it will just be replaced by the new version. There is no backup of the versions before that. A good reason why you might want to use this if you use multiple computers is because the prompt and all the settings are saved in the file. So if you are on a different computer, you can simply drag this file in here for the PNG info tab and you get all of the information with all of the settings in here. You simply click on send text to image and you have the prompt here. All of the settings adjusted and the seat down here. So you simply need to click on generate and you can start working on that artwork with different adjustments. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.